All right, welcome to New Testament 202, a study of the Pauline epistles of the New Testament. My name is Branton Burleson, and I'll be your professor this quarter. I'll be using this session to review the syllabus with you and to introduce the course. So you can follow along with me uh, first uh, on the main course overview page of the class site. I'm going to read uh, those introductory remarks there. Uh, in this course, you will be studying the life, ministry, and writings of the Apostle Paul. The primary sources for our study will be the 13 Pauline epistles of the New Testament. And I mention here that while we can't uh, examine each of those epistles in detail, we will review uh, the, this great apostle's journey from persecutor of the church to apostle to the Gentiles and consider some of the specifics of his theology and methodology for contemporary Christian ministry. And then I have a quote on here from um, Don Carson, Doug Moo, and the late Leon Morris in their uh, New Testament survey book, which I do want to commend to you. I have it on my shelf up here above me, uh, titled An Introduction to the New Testament by Carson, Moo, and Morris. And since Morris has died, uh, it's uh, now simply Carson and Moo. And they say in that work uh, this, that Paul is so significant a figure in the New Testament and in the church's history that he has been called the second founder of Christianity. This, of course, is not true, for it ignores the continuity between Jesus and Paul and diminishes unfairly the contributions of men such as Peter, John, and Luke. And then I, I say here about that quote, uh, while the claim by some that Paul was uh, the second founder of Christianity, while that's an overstatement, it is nevertheless, and it acknowledges the enormous contribution that uh, was made by this man in the life of the early Christian church. Paul's 13 epistles account for one-fourth or roughly 25% of the content of the New Testament. That's significant. This percentage is just behind Luke. Uh, Dr. Luke, Paul's traveling companion and the beloved physician, who wrote only two books, Luke and Acts, uh, but is just ahead of Paul, uh, Luke is in the percentage of content contributed to the New Testament by an individual. But if we can count in the 16 chapters of Acts devoted to Paul, uh, chapters 13 to 28, he figures into almost one-third of the New Testament. And so it goes without saying that uh, familiarity with the Apostle Paul, his ministry and theology is essential to a full understanding of the scriptures. Um, and so it is my prayer over the next 10 weeks uh, together that we will grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord as we seek to better understand the man, Paul, and his impact on the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so let me look at the uh, syllabus with you. You see on there, uh, my name, uh, my email address, and my phone number so that you may contact me. Uh, and I do serve as a full-time uh, lead pastor of Grace Baptist West Asheville. And I live nearby, and I've been here just over a year. And uh, it is, uh, if you ever want to visit the church sometime, if you're in the area, I'd love for you to do so. Love to get to know you in person, meet you, and uh, and spend some time together chatting. So I've got uh, six purposes for the course here. Uh, number one, I want us to understand the basic chronology of the life and ministry of the Apostle Paul. And so we'll be talking a little bit about that in this course, uh, just get an overview of Paul's life. Uh, secondly, uh, I want us to gain familiarity with the contents of the Pauline epistles of the New Testament. And so you'll be reading Paul's epistles, and we'll be looking at some key passages in Paul's epistles. Uh, I do want to encourage you to purchase that uh, Carson and um, Moo uh, New Testament survey. Uh, great background information on all of the New Testament, and in particular, the letters of Paul. Uh, third, I want us to understand the message of Paul revealed 
in word and deed as reflected in his epistles. Um, Dr. Schreiner's book that I'll talk about in a moment will do a fantastic job of, uh, of giving you the theology of Paul. Letter D, to recognize the distinct emphases of each of Paul's epistles and the implications of their diversity for interpretation and proclamation. You'll be doing both in your ministry. You'll be interpreting. You'll be doing hermeneutics and homiletics, interpreting and um, declaring or proclaiming. Along the way, I want you to increase your appetite uh, for the content of the Pauline epistles for a lifetime of study, enjoyment, and proclamation. It would be a shame to be involved in a course like this and not just simply grow in your love for the Word of God and your own devotional and spiritual health. And then lastly, uh, in that same um, theme, I want us to grow in personal responsiveness to Paul's message, to grow in repentance, faith, humility, obedience, joy, and etc. so forth. All right, let's move to the course requirements. You have um, five requirements here, A, B, C, D, E. Uh, I have actually removed some of the previous requirements I had for this course. Um, those requirements involved uh, writing a one-page summary each week of your reading from uh, Dr. Schreiner and outlining the, uh, the epistles of Paul as you read them. And so, um, for various reasons, I've dropped that uh, requirement. And your uh, first requirement is the lectures. Uh, you should consider this your attendance grade. You will be asked weekly if you viewed that week's lecture or lectures in its or their entirety, depending on whether there's one or two. And I think most weeks there will be two. If you did not, then please indicate what percentage of the viewing time you did complete. The weekly grades will be averaged for your final lecture grade. Uh, let me go ahead and mention that if you do not respond uh, to the uh, inquiry each week about the percentage of your viewing time or reading, then I will have to take a non-response as a zero. Um, if you miss uh, replying one week, you'll need to email me and let me know uh, what you completed um, otherwise, it will be a zero if I don't have a record. Um, and please uh, be responsible in contacting me. Uh, it is the student's responsibility to communicate with the professor about uh, your uh, course requirements. All right, secondly, your reading. You should read the required textbook and all of Paul's epistles in their entirety over the duration of the quarter. You will be asked each week what percentage of the assigned reading you have completed. The percentage read will be your reading grade for the week. So if you read uh, 100%, then you got 100. Uh, if you read 50%, you got a 50. So you're grading yourself uh, on the honor system to be honest about what you read and completed uh, each week. So I don't want you to fall behind in your reading you can read ahead, but with the weekly reading report, you won't be permitted to attempt to read everything uh, at the end just before the course ends because I want you to read the content and enjoy it and digest it and really soak it in. Uh, your textbook uh, reading will come from a book that looks like this, Paul, Apostle of God's Glory in Christ, A Pauline Theology by Tom Schreiner. I'll mention a little bit more about that in a moment. Uh, your forums uh, are the third requirement. A weekly forum discussion or topic will be posted uh, as either an article or video um, for your participation and interaction with your fellow classmates. A portion of your final grade will be based on your level of participation. And so if I observe serious engagement uh, with the topic and with your fellow students in your grade will be stronger than if you give minimal effort. Uh, you notice uh, I, I say here in italics, you should also use the weekly forum as a place to interact regarding your weekly reading assignments and lectures. Please discuss any matter of interest from your textbook, uh, maybe something uh, from one of Paul's epistles that you read that week that you'd like to discuss with your classmates uh, or a teaching session uh, matter you'd like to bring up. Uh, I... Uh, 
I, uh, I will say that I, I would like to interact with you in the forums as much as I can, but it may be limited. Uh, so please do interact with one another and know that I do look at those and look at your interaction and look at your, uh, that you did post and the quality of your post and content and length and so forth. I do look at those um, on my side of the Moodle program. Your final two requirements are exams, a midterm exam and a final exam. On week five, you will be tested on the material covered in weeks one through four. Uh, the exam may consist of a combination of multiple choice matching, uh, short answer and essay. Uh, and most of it will be uh, probably uh, multiple choice and matching. Uh, you will need to demonstrate a proficiency in understanding the content of the lectures, readings, and forums. Uh, most of the material will come from the, uh, the lectures supported by the reading. And the same thing for final exam. Your final exam will be taken during week 10. It will cover the material covered from week 6 through week 9. Um, week 5 is not mentioned there. Uh, you'll take mi the midterm of week 5, but uh, the lecture on week 5 is uh, going to be a guest lecturer, Dr. John MacArthur. So I won't uh, be grading you on the material covered there. Your final will be covering the material from week six through week nine and be a similar format to the midterm. And then you see your grading uh, will be based on lectures, reading, forums, midterm and final each 20%. And your grading scale there uh, will kind of comes right off the Fruitland website. And then your required textbooks, you see, I say the English Standard Version of the Bible. The ESV uh, is my preferred translation. It is what I typically preach from and use in the classroom. And so um, it'd just be nice for um, continuity between us uh, and between you as students that if we're reading from the same translation. Um, and again, your textbook is this uh, book by Dr. Schreiner, who is a professor of New Testament at the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary in Louisville, Kentucky. Dr. Schreiner is a superb theologian, scholar, uh, writer, teacher, professor, preacher, um, minister of the gospel. He is a, a an excellent um, uh, scholar in anything that you find written by Tom Schreiner uh, commentaries you will benefit from. So remember that name and enjoy his reading. This is a book to keep. Um, if you have any questions about anything related to the course introduction or the syllabus, please feel free to email me. Uh, email would be my preferred method of contact, uh, but you're also um, free to text or call me as well. Hope you're uh, Excited about the quarter and the course and look forward to getting to know you uh, better soon. You have uh, there the news and announcements uh, link under the syllabus. So if you have anything going on in your life, your family, your ministry that you'd like special prayer for, post announcements on there. Uh, look for updates from me on there periodically throughout the course. And I'll be communicating with you some there at times. And then you have your introductions forum where I introduce myself further, and I ask you to do the same and post there. Uh, and then uh, you can look over the course. Uh, I think everything's pretty self-explanatory and clear. The dates are at the top of each week. Uh, it tells you what week you're on, uh, a summary of the week, and then your assignments for that week are uh, under the summary. So where you find your forum, your reporting location, place for your lecture notes uh, that I've given you and your reading assignment and reporting each week. All right, I'm going to stop there and pick up next time with the first lecture of the course. Uh, God bless you. Look forward to getting to know you.